The 2021-2022 Chicago Bulls are an offensive monstrosity. The Bulls currently sit number one in the East, and they are led by four-time All-Star DeMar DeRozan, offensive juggernaut Zach Levine, All-Star big man Nikola Vucevic, a defensive-minded and pass-first point guard Lonzo Ball, the legend and the GOAT himself Alex Caruso, an offensive menace, Kobe White, and a very underrated second round acquisition, Ayo DeSumo. Before we get into the Bulls statistics analysis, I'm trying to reach 20 subscribers by the end of the week. And to hit the subscribe button, it costs you absolutely nothing. So I humbly ask you, please hit the like button and subscribe and help be a part and get a royal perspective. No pun intended. <laughs> Let's jump right in. The Chicago Bulls offensive stats are gaudy. Back it up a moment. You just said. No, you heard me correctly. The Bulls' fourth highest offensive rating is attributed to several key components field goal percentage. The Bulls have the second highest field goal percentage in the league. With the field goal percentage of 48 percent absolutely oh my god shut up okay we are now going to unpack how the bulls garnered the second highest field goal percentage you see the chicago bulls offensive repertoire is somewhat of a throwback the bulls attempt the third most two-point shots in the league making the sixth most in the league but upon further investigation it's how they're averaging the sixth most highest two-point makes. When we consider shots made 10 feet or less from the basket, the Bulls are average at best. Let's get it. What exactly don't you get? You see, when we move further away from the basket, it begins to get a little interesting. <laughs> you serious? Um, no, I'm uh, actually quite serious here. When we break down stats between 14 and 10 feet away from the basket, the Bulls currently have the third highest field goal percentage, making the fourth most in the league. Wait, it gets even more interesting. You see, when the Bulls venture even further away from the basket, between the range of 15 feet and 19 feet, the Bulls have the most field goals in the entire league. Hmm. I can only imagine who's his biggest contributor. You bet, it's the king of the mid-range itself, DeMar DeRozan. DeMar is currently averaging the most field goals made per game between 15 and 19 feet. Again, this gets even crazier from here. You see, between the range of 20 and 24 feet from the basket, the Bulls are currently making the second highest shots per game between that range and there that's when we insert Zach Levine Zach is top 10 in field goals made between 20 and 24 feet away from the basket as we venture even further away from the basket between the range of 25 and 29 feet in spite of shooting the third least amount attempts between that range the Bulls have the fourth highest field goal percentage. Now, the aforementioned comment is the perfect segue to talk about the Bulls' impeccable and very impressive three-point percentage. The Bulls' three-point percentage is currently first in the league with a three-point percentage of just under 40%. Here, we insert the big baller himself. Among all qualifying three-point percentages, Lonzo Ball is currently 13th in the league with a 42.2 three-point percentage. Look, even upon a thorough investigation of the Chicago Bulls three-point shooting, they are deadly from the corners. As a matter of fact, they're even more deadlier from the left corner. The Bulls are averaging the absolute highest field goal percentage from the left corner. The Bulls are averaging 43.6%. When we venture to the right side, 
The Bulls are third in the NBA with a three-point field goal percentage of 44%. You know, the Bulls are not even bad from the top of the key. Currently, the Bulls are second in the NBA with a three-point percentage of 37.4%. Here is where we insert the hometown kid himself, Ayo DeSumo. Ayo was averaging a field goal percentage of 53.6%. Not to mention, Ayo was shooting 44% from the three-point range, which is best among all qualifying rookies. That boy is good. The Bulls offensively passed the eye test. But offensively, the Bulls are exponentially and immensely impressive. There is no reason why we should not argue why the Bulls are top of the East. The Bulls are an offensive problem, and their offense is multifaceted, complex, and led by two of the top 10 scorers in the league, and Zach Levine and DeMar DeRozan. If you enjoy my content, please hit the like button and help and subscribe and help me reach 20 subscribers by the end of the week. Peace, be blessed. This is your boy, Royal Perspective.